Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, your 2015 Needle Dick. Thank you. 
your way down to the market and you'll play a little Vietnam.
rock hard dancing ladies, we appreciate it. We really do. Sound adjusting here just to get that other mic up. Yes, you can. You can go to college. So there's this thing, collegeband.com. I don't know if you've heard of it, but collegeband.com is this guy that found like college bands from a certain era and has reproduced all of their stuff. So they're like, there's a whole needle dick archive on collegeband.com. You get shirts, you can even get a coffee mug. They've got, uh, you know, all sorts of old, weird music of ours, but hey, 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 which is worth listening to, I think. Hey, 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 hey. hey Melton, can you bring this one down a little bit? It's a little, little, little sizzly. Yes, it sounds good now. Thank you. I've been really trying to accentuate my consonants lately. So thank you very much. Uh oh, the cops are here again, just like at River Hall. So we wrote this song as we as we were inspired by many Many of, many of the New York Post headlines, we never did write a song called Headless Body in Topless Bar, but we did write this song, which was inspired by a New York Post headline that said, Look tough and ride buses for free, about some, about some rough looking guys that would just go right onto the bus and not have to pay because they look so tough. So, here you go.
Well, you probably know them all personally, but it's time to introduce everybody. On, on drums, Milton Diaz. <laughs> on bass, Marshall St. Clair. <laughs> Barbecue Bob on the harmonica. Larry Blaney is on the guitar. I'm Kevin Trainer. And Mark Enger on keyboards. A sort of auxiliary dick. With a nice organ. <laughs> it never gets old. And Ralph Morrison on the floor. Ralph Morrison had a very nice movement.
I guess we should have known from the first who was a cleft old maniac. First he said he was from Jersey, and then he said he had hitchhiked down from Maine, and then he said he was voted by the FBI for selling the M16s. Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson,
told us many stories about the life that he had led. A hatred, crime, and violence, and all the people that he's led. He took ten thousand dollars for a deal that never went down. We'll never get that money back, because Michael Jackson and I.